Hello, hello, Crafty Mantis here, and welcome back to another episode on the Diamond Society server. So, I have been super busy trying to get everything wrapped up for the skyscraper, and I want to show you guys what I have done. So, on this floor, um, I didn't want I didn't want to do a whole lot on this floor, but just because of the design and stuff. Um, so in the spaces where there was a whole bunch of just the plain old oak, I ended up adding these little seating areas, which, you know, would kind of make sense if this is kind of like, you know, observatory type thing, they would have some kind of seating. So I ended up doing that on this side. And then on the next level down, go ahead and do express elevator down instead of just walking around and around. I ended up putting in a little bit of a garden um, and then there's just little seating areas um, in each of the corners and then I used primarily the colors that were um, that I used within the the actual uh, windows and stuff which was the kind of like the purples and the yellows though I have yellow and white um, and I think that I think that might be because of Optifine I'm not 100% sure um, and then also the the blue flowers from the swamp. Um, that way, it kind of you know kind of matches everything that's going on around here. And I guess I guess the white dandelions also match kind of like the the sea lanterns. There's a little bit of white there. Now, the other thing that I ended up doing, which I was <laughs> I was kind of proud of, um, is these derpy little statues. <laughs> I had absolutely no clue what to what to put on each floor. So I ended up coming up with these derpy little statues. Um, <laughs> they're, you know, they're not a whole lot, but each one of them is unique. Like that one, that one has a diamond sword and a shield. Then we've got a little magician here with some, um, some netherrack on fire. We've got uh, a miner with a gold pickaxe and iron. And then this guy, this guy has a mushroom umbrella and is holding out his hand, checking to see if it's raining. <laughs> so I, I really, I really like that one. And um, like I said, each one of them is unique. So let's go ahead and go down to the next layer here. And I ended up having problems as I was going down because I had four levels of this. Um, and so I had to come up with 16 individual statues. And the thing is, I might still have to come up with three more. So this one, this one is a baker. So he's got a cake and a, a furnace. And then we've got another miner with a diamond pickaxe and uh, nether quartz. And then this one's holding some uh, nether blocks. And then this one's got a hoe and a melon. And then if we come down here... So we got this guy who is mining with a stone pickaxe and coal. This guy is making a snow golem. And then we got this guy with uh, redstone and lapis. And then this guy with a, a stone sword and a, a wooden shield. Coming down here, we got this guy with a slime block and a piston. So he's going to be making a sticky piston, possibly. This guy has uh, pe uh, packed ice and... I would assume a silk touch iron pick. <laughs> this guy here, he's got a, um, a log with a uh, diamond uh, diamond axe. And then this guy's got a bow and I ended up doing a bone block. And then we have this level down here. Because as you can see, it creates, the where the statues are, it creates this really weird lighting glitch. Because I use the slabs. Um, so I might end up having to go through, depending on what I decide to do on this level, um, it, you know, possibly put another layer of slabs underneath um, to get rid of the lighting glitch. But the other thing that I was thinking is actually coming down here. Yeah, because that's right there. Right? Nope, it goes two blocks over. So it would end up having to come out to this level here. And I don't know if that's going to work with not bonking our heads I mean I guess it would end up working here hold on let's let's steal this oh those are slabs so if we do that are we still gonna bonk no we're not gonna bonk our heads so I might end up extending it out that way I can actually get the you know do another basically three statues and then try to figure out what I'm going to do about that particular dark spot it's really weird that it does that 
but I still have I still have more work to do because I still need to work on this one and then I need to work on this layer here but other than that I am getting really close to um, actually finishing up the the skyscraper so I am going to continue working on this particular level and then also the one below and I will be right back with you guys all right guys so I have finished up I decided to go with simple for here I started to get you know all complicated and you know trying to create stuff to kind of you know come up here but no matter what I seem to do it just it didn't seem to fit because this is relatively simple down here um, there's not, you know, there's not a whole lot um, of complexity. And so I decided to go with just simple. Now, in order to solve the lighting glitches on the top, because you can still kind of see them, um, I decided to put, go ahead and put these chandeliers and, you know, continue them all the way down just so that there's some continuity. Um, so that, that kind of added just a little bit more detail and then got rid of the, the annoying dark uh, lighting glitches. Now, up on this other level, I did decide to go ahead and do the statues. Now, these statues are all the same. Um, I decided that I wanted to kind of go with like a sentry type theme on this particular level. So, you've got three different, three different sentries with diamond, gold, and iron uh, swords. Oh, excuse me. And then um, I did this little chandelier. Um, not not hundred percent sure if I'm hundred, you know, like completely satisfied with that. I've never really done very complicated chandeliers. Um, you know, multi-layered ones. The only ones I've ever really done are these ones down here, which is basically you come down and then you put four fence posts and you put torches on it. That's that's a street chandelier. <laughs> so I definitely need to, you know, kind of work on getting, you know, getting a little bit better at making those definitely, you know, a lot more complicated and stuff like that. Um, cause I know you can do some with like, um, like glass panes and, and stuff like that and make them look really, really pretty. That's definitely one thing that, that I need to learn how to do. Now, I know that this episode is super short. However, this is going to be the last episode that I record on Diamond Society for Season 2. Um, we are ramping up for Season 3. And um, so, over the next period of time, I'm going to be getting uh, getting stuff ready for the server. Um, you know, getting the server set up and stuff like that. So, I am not going to have as much time to be playing um, actually on the server. Um, as I'll be setting everything up and so but I wanted I wanted to kind of you know wrap some things up um, you know I'm still might get on to kind of add a little bit of details you know maybe like especially with this bottom floor here go through with the green you know green carpet add some lighting and, and stuff like that um, or even just carpet the entire thing then you know how to worry about mops <laughs> but, um, but yeah so I definitely definitely happy with the way that this turned out I know a lot more detail could have gone into it and stuff like that um, you know and then clean up and all that that way we're ready for the the download and stuff but definitely happy with the way things you know turned out um, in terms of the things that I was able to finish um, definitely disappointed that some things unfortunately are going to end up having to go to the wayside um, you know for example my ship um, I might add a few more details and stuff like that but I'm not going to record or anything like that um, just one of those things that get them done when I can and um, and yeah so I hope you guys like the the statues and all the little details um, that I've been doing if you did uh, definitely hit that like button if you're not already subscribed, please do so, um, and then hit the notification button. It allows you to find out when I end up putting out additional content, and definitely look forward to Season 3 of Diamond Society. It's going to be fantastic. I'm um, definitely looking forward to what we have planned for Season 3. So for now, I am going to call it, and I will see you guys in the next episode.